What's up guys, Steven from Pure Landscaping. I'm doing some quotes today, handing out some door hangers. We got some door hangers, nice custom ones, Pure Landscaping. Licensed insured professionals who treat every property like it's our own, la 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 la. Licensed insured, nice door hangers, quality door hangers. So I uh, get to a customer's house, put one of these on the mailbox, hang it up. Now what do I see in the driveway? It's one of my competitors, I guess, around here. They left a business card with a bag of rocks to hold it down so it doesn't go anywhere. And a Ziploc bag. And I guess you just drive by and you just throw these out the door. That's how you do good advertising. I'll tell you, you just can't beat these lawn care scrubs. So today is day two of handing out flyers. Actually, not really flyers, door hangers. Uh, let's see how many we get today. I think yesterday we handed out about 75, 80 door hangers. Today, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Probably like 200, 250 right here right now. And uh, let's just see if we get any more business. All right, I'll see you in a while. Hey guys, just a quick update. We were just in another neighborhood handing out the uh, door hangers, putting them on mailboxes. And just a quick update. Uh, I'm in another neighborhood in the town of Shelton again where that lawn care scrub was just taking Ziploc bags with a with a business card and putting some rocks in it and just grenading them out the door as he he drove by and uh, the house that I did yesterday was about four miles away from from this house so this guy's getting around and he must order thousands of cards thousands of Ziploc bags and just drive by and bomb them out the window so I thought that was pretty funny. All right, guys, I'll catch up with you later. So here's what I'm talking about. Walk around the neighborhoods. Any neighborhood will do it, but preferably the neighborhoods that actually have some money and hand these out. That's all you gotta do. Nice houses, nice lawns, or possibly nice lawns. And here's what you do. You just go up to the, to the mailbox, Flip one of these on behind, lock it in, there you go. Here's a quick update on what I'm doing now. The Zero Turn, the Skag, the Freedom Z, it moves around the trailer a lot when I drive. I guess because I drive like a maniac, I don't know. But it slides around and it crushes the backpack blower and whatever else I have inside the trailer. My trailer's too small, I need to upgrade it, but it, it was a good beginning trailer. It was a 5x10. So I put a piece of 2x4 going across, so that way when I back the mower in, the back tires are on this side of the 2x4. Uh, it hopes that maybe the skag won't slide all the way you know, to the back of the trailer now anymore. So I'm going to test it out. I was using these straps, the ratchet straps, just to go across the trailer and it would just go around the rops bar right there and it would lock it in but being on the side of the road and being you know it's dangerous on some of the streets i really don't feel like dealing with that and believe it or not it actually is a big waste of time so i'm going to try the two by four i screwed down the two by four down there i don't know i'm thinking i probably don't need the whole length i just need where the tires go so i might cut out this section here and just leave Kind of like wheel chocks there and here and just cut out the center portion but we'll see how it goes and i'll give you guys an update once i i drive around and see if it slides around so in case i didn't explain myself well this is what i did i backed the mower into the trailer to give me more room and i put the two by four going across there so it's kind of like a like a wheel chock a little speed bump and i put it back here i don't know if you can see so it goes all the way across so i'm hoping that it keeps the actual mower from moving around too much because i would drive and the mower would end up way over here sometimes or crush the backpack blower or whatever else i have on the trailer at the time so hopefully i'll fix that with that piece of wood 